Notice we have an absolute value equation. We've got an absolute value equal to an absolute value. Now the only way this is going to happen is if x minus 5 inside the absolute value bars on the left side is equal to x plus 2 that's inside the absolute values on the right side or if those two expressions are opposites of each other. Because if they're equal, of course their absolute values are equal. If they are opposites of each other, their absolute values will still be equal. So that's how we solve this. For this to be true, either x minus 5 must equal x plus 2 or x minus 5 must equal the opposite of x plus 2. And I have two equations now to solve. All right, let's solve this equation on the left side. Uh, no parentheses, no fractions. I will subtract x from both sides, moving variable terms to one side, constants on the other. So on the left side, I'll rewrite and subtract x on the right side of just this equation. I'll write x plus 2 and I'll subtract x. And watch what happens. x minus x, that's 0x or 0, and I have negative 5 is equal to, notice the x is subtract out again, is equal to 2. Now what happens when all variables subtract out and you have a false statement? Negative 5 is equal to 2, that is a false statement. That means the original equation here has no solution. So this equation gives us no solution so far. What happens on the other side? I'll have x minus 5 is equal to negative x minus 2, taking off parentheses and distributing. Now I will add x to both sides. So here's the left side. I'll add x. And here's the right side, and I'll add x. Notice what happens on the left side. x plus x, that's 2x, minus 5 is equal to these x's subtract out, and I get negative 2. Now let's finish solving. I'll add 5 to both sides. So here's the left side, and I will add 5. Here's the right side, and I will add 5. 2x minus 5 plus 5, these subtract out, and I have simply 2x is equal to negative 2 plus 5, and that is 3. How do I finish solving this equation for x? I will divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 2. And I'll have that x is equal to 3 halves. So this equation, our original equation, has a single solution and it is three halves.